This time on Square Buy Stuff, I'll show you how to remove and install a camshaft. Next step here is to uh, pull the camshaft out. Not a whole lot to it. Get three bolts there. Pull them out. Take your gear off. And to pull your cam out, you can take your timing chain. I'm gonna just set it off the side. Don't need it anymore. Now to pull your old cam out, uh, you can take your old gear and take one of your bolts, and I'll just I'll show you a way to do it this way. Run your bolt back in, of course. All of our lifters are out of there. There's no lifters left in. You don't want to try to pull it out with the lifters left in there. You can grab a hold of this gear and support the camshaft and kind of walk it out. Don't just try to jerk it out because all the lobes, your camshaft lobes are going to start hitting on your cam bearings. You don't want to scar your cam bearings up. So just take it nice and easy. And once you get it out, you can kind of support it with the gear, support it with your other hand, nice and easy. You can feel it going through the cam bearings, nice and easy. It may need a little twist in here and there, boom, there you go, camshaft's out. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in, same way. the gear because you may not have a special tool or holder to bolt on the end of your camshaft and you just got to use the gear and you can do it with just the gear I've done it with just the gear for a long time and once you get to the last lobe like that just grab a hold of it nice and easy you feel it kind of get slid in there Boom, there you go. Camshaft's installed. Now, I'll pull this gear off. And I'll show you a tool that I made. Which, you could buy these. Buy these already made. It's just the same pattern as your camshaft with the handle on it. I made this a long time ago. It's just an old uh, uh, camshaft sprocket that I cut down on a lathe, welded a rod into it, to where I could bolt on there. There's a nut into it, or a bolt, not a nut. And it's just got to be finger tight. It ain't, it ain't got to be super tight. But this gives you a little more leverage to actually do it pretty much one-handed. But it's better to use two hands to support the camshaft a little bit so you don't beat the bearings up too much. There we go. There's the old camshaft out. Now I'll get the the new 
new used camshaft, get it ready to go back in, get it all lubed up, set it back in there, and we'll start dropping lifters in and start some reassembly on this thing. Okay, I've got my new, new used, whatever you call it, camshaft to put back in this motor, engine, whatever you want to call it. Take the bolts out. I've got some assembly lube. Uh, this is a Lucas Oil Products. I, I use a lot of Lucas products. I'm not sponsored by them in, by any means. I don't have any license or anything to use their name, but I do look, use a lot of Lucas Oil Products. Uh, the Lucas Oil Stabilizer in my motors whenever I run them. Uh, in my rear ends. Pretty much everything I have has some sort of Lucas product in there. I, I really like their products. Uh, this is a assembly lube. Uh, it pretty sticky stuff. And what I'll do, well, I'll go ahead and get my handle on there. Uh, I've already showed you the different ways of putting it in with a gear or a handle. I'm going to put my handle on because it's a lot easier. I'll put some lube on this first journal. It's pretty sticky, slimy stuff. Get on that first journal, get it slid in there. Put some on my distributor gear. So it's got plenty of lube on start up. And you can go on you can go on every lobe if you want to. Go ahead and lube it up. That's kind of go section by section. Spread it on the whole thing. That way you got complete coverage. And this stuff will stick to it until you're ready to start it up, break it in. I mean, I've actually just used regular Lucas oil stabilizer. You can get it in a gallon jug, it's probably cheaper that way, and I've used it before and it seems to work alright, but I got this bottle of actual assembly lube, so I'm going to use it this time. I think this, this stuff has more zinc in it. I'm not sure if the stabilizer actually has any zinc or not. I've never really looked into it, but I've used it for a number of years in my hydraulic flat tappet camshaft motors that I've never had a camshaft go flat with it because it it has a lot of good lubrication. I'm not sure if it's the zinc or what, but I don't have any problems running Lucas stabilizer. Nice and easy. The next one.
And this last lobe here is for your fuel pump push rod. Alright. Get that slid in. There we go. Clean your hands off so you don't get goo everywhere. Take the bolt out. Your camshaft's pretty well installed. Next will be the lifters, actually the timing chain. Go over that in just a minute. So stay tuned. All right, unfortunately, I failed to get or lost it somehow. Uh, I don't have any footage of installing the lifters. Not much to it. Uh, I've, I've had a lot of, I've been trying to take videos of every little step and stuff's getting jumbled around and lost and then, then when I go to edit everything, uh, not everything's the way I expected it to be. So I'm kind of doing a, a catch up here. but. What I do with lifters is I'll, I'll put them in a, a tub of oil. It's just an old laundry soap tub. Nice, clean, fresh oil. Put the lifters in there, make sure you have enough oil to cover the top of them. That way they kind of get, you know, some people call it soaking the lifters. It does kind of help get some of the air out of them. You can take a push rod and plunge them a little bit to get some air worked out of them. I don't know if it's 100% necessary. I've always done it just just because, and there you know, it makes a mess, but they're lubed up whenever you go to put them in. I also, before I slide them in, I'll put a little bit of assembly lube on the, on the end of the lifter that goes onto the camshaft. But before I actually start this motor up, I'm gonna put an oil pump primer in, I'm gonna prime everything, so the lifters will be pumped up before it gets started, regardless if I ever put them in a tub of oil. So I apologize for not getting any video of that. It's a pretty simple step. Uh, the main thing was is, you know, just your basic how to pull a cam out, put it in. It's not, not rocket science, but there are some things to kind of watch out for. So at this point, I'm gonna let you go and but remind you to uh, like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Ring the bell down below. Check out my Teespring store. Uh, check me out on Facebook and Instagram. All the links to those are in the description below. Take it easy.